All right, for the next problem, we have a quadratic form factoring problem. Now, this is an x to the fourth, and generally we are low on techniques to solve or factor a fourth degree polynomial. But if you take a close look, you'll notice that the degree here, 4, is twice the degree of this term, which is 2, and then there's a constant. It looks very quadratic, even though it's not a second degree. So, what we can do is we can make a clever substitution that will turn it into a quadratic. Once we've turned it into a quadratic, we can factor it, hopefully. So, the clever substitution is u equals x squared. This isn't always going to be what you're going to use for your substitution, but it's what you need to figure out in order to turn this into a square, and this into a first degree. So, if u is equal to x squared, x to the fourth is u squared. Minus 4 times, well, if x squared is u, then this is 4u. Minus 5, because the 5 doesn't have a variable, it remains untouched. Now, we have a very factorable quadratic. So factors of negative 5 that combine to negative 4 are negative 5 and 1. So we then have u minus 5 and u plus 1. Now we can't leave the answer like this because the question never asked us to express it in u's. So we need to convert it back into x squareds. When we do that, we get x squared minus 5 and x squared plus 1. Now we may have more steps, but we need to check. x squared minus 5. If that 5 were a perfect square, we'd be tempted to do difference of squares and proceed to factor it further, but we can't x squared plus 1, there is no formula for sum of squares, so that is prime. With two prime factors, we're done.